Hey guys, welcome to this video. It's been a while since I've shared with you guys my skincare routine. My skin has gone through a whole journey. I did a whole video on my acne journey if you want to check that out. And I upload that video not having a finished result yet and not knowing what the root cause of it was. So I really wanted to touch base with you guys do an updated skincare routine because that's like one of the big parts that's really helping my skin. For today's video, we're gonna start off with my AM morning skincare routine. And next week, you'll be able to see my PM routine, which is a little bit longer, still simple, but a little bit more longer. I have more like treatments and stuff like that. My approach to skincare personally, I like to keep things very simple yet very effective. So there's no unnecessary steps. I will kind of switch up and add different products or take away different products depending on what my skin needs. Through my whole acne journey, I've really found the love for skincare and also just like researching my products a little bit more. I think it's so easy to just buy all the products that influencers recommend. But you gotta really look at your skin. What does your skin need? Cause too much is often not good. So I wish I was that person that looked really glamorous when I did my skincare, like have my hair down, washing it, I can't do that. I need to have like everything pulled back. Tucking my hair behind my ears is not enough. I'm gonna start off by clipping my hair back. We're gonna be like a trendy little influencer here with this big claw clip. <laughs> because I have layers, I like to use a little headband. Hey, it matches my top though. <laughs> so before I dive into my skincare routine, I wanna give you a little spiel on my skin. Just so you know, like especially if you're watching this for some skincare advice, so you can kind of get an idea of what my skincare is like or what my skin type is like. I have very, very sensitive skin. It's very sensitive to different ingredients, different products, and just even by touching it. Two years ago, it became very acne prone. And I can't say I know like the root root cause. It's probably some gut issue, which I'm gonna get checked. But I found ways to kind of keep them at bay and treat it and some ways to help it be a little bit better. So I have sensitive, acne prone skin. I wouldn't say my skin's overly dry or overly oily. It does get tight after I wash it. Definitely needs some moisture and hydration. So I would say mine's like normal combination. Over the last few months, I've been cleansing every morning and I think it's made a big difference in my skin. Just taking off any like dead skin, too much oil buildup. I just like a good wash and to feel clean. But I don't like any face washes that are gonna strip my skin. I mean, I feel like most people know that now. There's so many really awesome YouTubers, content creators that are really educational in skincare and that's where I've learned the most. People like Hiram, obviously. Susan Yara, she was one of the first that really got me into skincare. Beauty Within, which really like simplifies and breaks down ingredients, really educational. And also Celeste Thomas, she's more of like a holistic wellness um, very clean, non-toxic products, and I don't do everything that they do. I kind of take things, educate myself, and adapt it to what my like skin philosophy is. I'm gonna wash my face. This is the Drunk Elephant Bestie Number no. Nine Jelly Cleanser. It's just a good, simple, and effective cleanser. I like how there's no like added fragrance in this. So I'm just gonna take some on my hand. I'll have to go over to the sink. I just take one little pump, not too much. Work it into my hand. You can see. It's already starting to film up. All right, so I'm gonna go over to the sink and wash my face. I normally do this over a sink, so like water is like going down my arms, but I just go ahead, add some water, and massage this into my skin. And you can see it has a very gentle foam to it. And I really work in those areas where I can get a little bit more clogged pores. I've used lots of like facial cleansing brushes in the past, but honestly my favorite and the most gentle way is just using your fingers. I just put a little bit more pressure. I'm not like tugging my skin and being aggressive, but in the areas where I just want a little bit of deeper cleanse, just a little bit more pressure with your hands will get kind of deeper into the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse that off. And just pat dry my face with face cloth. And now that I wash my face, you can see a lot of my acne scars because they're a little bit more inflamed because my skin just reacts a bit when you touch it too much. One thing that I have changed in my routine too is I'm always washing and putting water that's cold on my face. It's just more awakening and refreshing first of all and it just kind of helps tighten the skin. When you use warm water, it can be a little bit harsh on your skin. Your skin can be a little bit more sensitive as well. So I just like cold water and in the morning it's so refreshing. This is an amazing product. I used to have all those like trendy like washes and like jade rollers and they just weren't working for me. I wasn't doing that. Honestly, I was just massaging with my hands, but since I've been watching Celeste Thomas, which definitely go check her out, she's amazing. She always uses these ice rollers just from Amazon. It's so amazing. It's so cooling when I wake up sometimes with like puffy eyes because I'm allergic to my cat or if you had a good cry, <laughs> my eyes can be really swollen and just like putting this on the eyes and lightly rolling is so 
cooling and it instantly depuffs. This is amazing. It also is really good for calming down inflammation from your acne. If you see some acne coming, just roll a little bit on this, really good. And it'll just tighten up your skin as well. It's just super soothing and refreshing. My skin isn't too puffy right now because truth be told, it's the afternoon when I'm filming this. I wrap it up in a towel and keep it in the freezer and then just take it out whenever I need it. I don't use this every single morning. I think that would be a little extra. Also because I'm just lazy and I don't want to run downstairs to the kitchen every time. Instant fix when you're feeling puffy and you're going out in the morning soon or you have a photo shoot. But also it's just really good for getting the blood flowing in your skin. Whenever I do leave my skin a little too long and it's too dry for my next products, feeling a little bit tight, I like to go in and dampen my skin with a mineral water. This specifically is the Ven Thermal Spring Water. Mineral waters are just super soothing and very softening to the skin. This is the song. Love the aerosol container. It's a very fine mist. You don't have water like dripping down your face. It's just that perfect dampness that you need for skincare. That way all the other like serums and products you use will just absorb and your skin will take it a little bit better. All right, next step. Probably one of my favorite steps in my skincare routine. I've been doing it for a long time now. This is the Vichy Mineral 89 Skin Fortifying Daily Booster. Any hyaluronic acid honestly will do. I've never repurchased a hyaluronic acid serum. There's so many on the market right now, so I just usually just try out a different one. But I've been using this one for quite a while. It's just a nice lightweight gel formula that's really, really hydrating. Hyaluronic acid is really gonna bring hydration deep into the skin and just over Overall, just plump and hydrate your skin. Hyaluronic acid is also just so good for acne prone skin because often with acne prone skin your skin can be very dehydrated so your skin's kind of make up for the lack of hydration and produce so much oil and that can build up and then there cause acne. I always just rub my products between my fingers and then just apply it on like that. And instantly my skin just feels really nice, hydrated, and juicy. Let me know what's your favorite hyaluronic acid serum. I would, I would love to know. It's just that gel consistency. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on. Usually one pump is enough. Because I'm wearing a tank top today, I'm just gonna, why not put it down my neck? This is a newer product in my routine and I'm obsessed with it. This is by Honest Beauty. This is their hydrogel cream. If you don't know, Honest Beauty is Jessica Alba's whole beauty skincare makeup line. She has very awesome product with such a simple clean ingredients with no fragrance, they're so gentle. As you probably guessed from the name, this moisturizer is kind of like a hybrid of a gel and cream moisturizer. It's so cool because it looks like a cream in the pot and on your finger, but it's so lightweight. And then once you put it on your skin, it kind of bursts into a gel. It has such simple ingredients. Two of my favorite ingredients has hyaluronic acid in it. Also has squalene oil, love that. So I'm just gonna go ahead, put it on my face. There's like some apple extract ingredient in it. So it smells really sweet and nice still. No strong scents, even though there's no fragrance in it. This has been so good for my skin, it gives my skin what it needs, locks in my serum, really moisturizing, but it's not greasy or heavy and it's not gonna clog my pores. So if you have acne prone skin or sensitive skin, I think you would love this. What I will do is I just go in with another layer and just put a little bit more moisturizer on. Sometimes I'll dot it on my face too, it just always changes. I'm feeling a little bit more dry today. I think the biggest reason is because I'm talking so much and letting my skin just sit with nothing on it, but down my neck too, always remember. I feel embarrassed to say this, watching all these people just drill it into everyone's brain that you need SPF every day, no matter if you're in front of a window, inside, outside in the sunlight, but I just can't do it, I don't know. <laughs> I'm here to admit it with you guys. That SPF is hard for me to put on every day. I do put it on when I go outside and stuff, but I need to get better at it. But if you are struggling with scars on your face and you're trying to fade them, if you're not wearing SPF, they're not gonna fade. You're gonna be doing all these treatments and they're gonna still be there. So yes, I'm kind of speaking to you and speaking to myself that I need to wear SPF more. I use 100% mineral sunscreens. I find I get little red bumps every time I use a chemical sunscreen. A mineral sunscreen is basically gonna block and kind of bounce off any UV rays. Another thing, if you have a 100% mineral zinc oxide sunscreen that you love, 
let me know down below. I would love to know. I've been using the Super Goop Zinc Screen SPF 40. I'm really looking forward to the day that Super Goop ships all their SPFs to Canada. So I usually do two pumps for my whole face. It has a little bit of a color in it. I think it's more to kind of hide the white cast from the zinc oxide ingredient. I don't normally smear it. Well, sometimes I do. Normally I do dots on my face, but today we're smearing it. Okay, that's happening. I find this one a weird formula. It feels very like wet and greasy and a little bit heavy on the skin, but yet sometimes it can cling to dry spots on the face. So that's the reason I don't like this. Um, it's just kind of unpredictable and sometimes it really pills with my makeup too. But the sunscreen doesn't break me out and it protects my skin from the sun. So I'm, I need to put up with it and just use it and then maybe I'll try something else. But it does this weird like film. I don't know, the pigment like sticks to my hands. As long as I have a very moisturized base, this doesn't cling to dryness and it looks just really nice and dewy on the face. And then whatever's left on my fingers, I take it around my eyes. And as you saw, I've been putting it down my neck as well. Okay, and now we're literally on the last step of my morning skincare routine. Finish off with some lip balm. I've been really enjoying the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. It's very moisturizing, but I just love how it gives a really pretty gloss. Instantly, it makes the lips look so much plumper. All right, so that is my morning skincare routine. I just like my routine to be super simple so I can just get it done, get onto my makeup, and just having good prep for my day. Following my morning routine, I usually like my products to kind of sit with my skin a bit before I do my makeup, and then I don't have any issues with peeling. If you wanna stay tuned for next week's video where I share with you guys my nighttime skincare routine, definitely subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up to support my channel. That'd be awesome, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!